All right, what's up, boys? We have got an elimination match of NA versus EU. And I'm not sure, I don't have the stats here. I didn't research the stats, but I'm pretty sure NA's got a pretty good shot. I'm pretty sure that NA normally wins these. So let's hope that the second seed from NA is better than the second seed from EU, bro. I am uh, pretty hyped. I'm pretty fucking hyped. Let's fucking go. And it will win. That's what I'm saying, bro. I got the C9 hoodie on, bro. The C9 championship hoodie on. Because they're going to be champions of a best of three at Worlds. The last best of series at Worlds uh, that any team has won from NA was probably that Africa series. Because planes doesn't count, bro. I'm not talking about some random playing series. Last best of series won by NA at Worlds. Probably, probably going to be uh, this one right here. Okay. Azir Poppy. Kalista, Maokai, do we see Fnatic Talia ban? I think we should. I think we should. Because I don't think Fnatic should want to play Talia themselves in this match. They tried a red side Talia. It did not work out. Usain has locked bans. I don't think so. I don't think the Renekton is a locked ban, to be honest. Sejuani. Okay, bro. C9, first pick Zaya. It's just like all tournaments, Zaya is just smurfing on everyone. Just first pick Zaya. Fnatic should take away the Rakan. Oriana Rakan. This is like standard trade. Yeah, this is like what everyone's doing. Oriana Rakan. Okay. Now the draft actually starts. You have option for uh, for Jarvan here. If you go Jarvan, you have to be willing to go oh, like Jarvan Rumble. That's that's pretty good. This is like the most standard meta draft that we've seen where everyone is just doing exactly what the tier list of champions is. They're just going down it. Now, R3, if you want Kaisa, this is where you take it for Noah. He's not that good of a Kaisa player, so you have other options. You could take Lee Sin here as well. I think it's between those two champions for me. It's Lee Sin or Kaisa here. Those are the two champions you're, you're selecting between. I like this for Fnatic. I, I don't like that. I don't know why you'd go uh, Jax here. Yeah, I think I think you go Lee Sin there because I think that Noah's Kaisa has not been great. So I would go Lee Sin, drop AD carry, and then have Noah play, you know, whatever. Something with mobility later on. The Jax, I don't know why people are going Jax into Rumble so much. Maybe it's some scrim thing where, like, they feel like if they play the matchup and they're able to fight... You know, they can three wave push or sorry, it's four wave push into no magic mantle is like the tech and then they can lane versus the rumble. I don't know, bro. I would not want to play this matchup. If I was on stage, I don't want to play Jackson to rumble if I have NA players. Like if, if I was going to pick something into rumble, bro, I'd pick Orin. How, that's the NA and EU pick, bro. That is the Western pick. You're playing into rumble. Just draft the fucking Orin. You're going to lose prio, but at least you'll be useful later on and you're gonna scale well throughout the game like and you're you know pretty solid at most points in the lane phase maybe i'm old school when i see western top laners i want to find orn angles rel ban for the jungle but i mean i think they want lee sin i'm surprised that they didn't ban lee sin here zeri ban is good they're literally daring noah to pick kaisa they just think that this guy sucks at kaisa <laughs> like that's it uh, there's there's two things you can do you can either ban kaisa lee sin because those are like the best in slot champions or you can ban like one rollout those are like the two most common ways or i guess the third option is you just give him kaisa because you think he sucks at kaisa he really does suck at kaisa yeah his kaisa is not great nautilus is a good pick here it's meant nautilus has not been the best but i mean that's just the pick like what what is he, what does mns play what does he play he plays the blanc right here syndra ban azir ban into oriana what would mns play he's like a leblanc one trick i don't think it's like great in this game but i just don't know what else he would play and then you have like leblanc jarvin for like 2v2 mid no no don't do it don't do it not mns yone oh my god mns yone mns yone bro mns yone mns yone oh my god mns yone oh I have, i'm having flashbacks game four c9 versus nrg oh you want to see some mns yone do you know about the mns yone all right if you don't just uh let's just watch some team fights real quick this is the highlight. yeah i mean ezreal makes sense you want something with mobility i mean they should go kaisa but he's just so bad at kaisa that you just don't give it to him okay there's a couple of things that i'm looking at this game i mean mns the early lane phase of yone into oriana i think that's a tough one bro we've seen it before what did we see we saw na play this versus eu golden guardians versus bds game one the yone was getting absolutely 
Let's see if MNS can play it better than that. I mean, there's definitely kill angles. But when you look at the the 2v2 from, from C9, I mean, I guess it depends on how the 2v2 starts. But if they get on Orianna, like Yone and Jarvan can win for sure. So we have that. Uh, in terms of like early team fights, it should be C9 favored. So when I'm looking at Herald fight here, if you have Nautilus 6 plus Yone 6 plus Jarvan 6, Plus Rumble 6. I don't know how you can win as like Jax Lee Sin, Oriana Rakan. But yeah, also like overall scaling, I guess you'd give it to Fnatic. Well, Eminus is just playing to push. He's trading HP to push early. Does this actually matter? Question. Jarvin starting red. Leeson starting Raptors. Okay. Like Muddy on Twitch is going to opt into that. All right. Fnatic invading here. Razor is invading here just with top prio. So the reason why they do this invade from Lee Sin is because for Jax to be able to play this lane, generally Jax wants to crash three waves and then proxy the fourth, which he didn't actually get to do here. I think that, that Oscar actually kind of f***ed up his lane because he wants to push three waves, proxy the fourth with his jungler topside, and then he can base on no magic mantle and come back to top. But Fudge did a good job of not letting it crash, and Razor gets jumped on. I think that's I think that's worth it. They get they get his flash. I think that's worth it. MNS getting absolutely fisted. Also, humanoid Oriana, like damn. When I'm thinking about a player I don't want to give Oriana, I mean, when Oriana was meta in the last few years, humanoids have just been the best one. But realistically, the Leeson should just never be here, right? No, there's no way they're diving this. What are we doing? There's no way that this is what we're doing. No way. There's no way that this is like the angle, bro. This is such a crazy idea to dive this. Let's see the tech from Oriana. If he just goes 5Q. Oh, this is a kill. This, this should be a kill. Flash on him. Ignite. Yeah, he should just be 100% dead. Oscar's dead. Big, big North America. Razor no flash. He has W though. He should, he'll be fine. Oh, wait, wait. Oh my God. Maybe he's not fine. Yes, let's go. That's so big. That's so big. Rakan got the kill. Holy shit. Okay. Well done. Well done. And... And this is a great timing for this play to happen because Rumble used his ult, which means that he'll have his ult back up for the Herald fight. So this should guarantee the Herald for C9. I hate to say that because, like, you never know how Western teams are going to play around Herald. But in theory, C9 should guarantee Herald off this play. Rumble is 2-0. He's super strong. Look at the item from Fudge. Nice Jax counterpick. I, I mean, I, I hate the Jax into Rumble. I, I literally said it in draft. It's, it's like it makes sense in theory. But it's just, you have to do so much more on the Jack side. Like, think about, like, the Rumble pick. Rumble is like, I take Ignite, and I'm just stronger than him in, like, the first 20 minutes of the game. And Jax is like, okay, I need my jungler topside at, like, 3 minutes and 30 seconds because I need to proxy that, that, that fourth wave so that I can base on no magic mantle. Once I hit no magic mantle, Sunderer, and, like, components for Shojin, provided that I'm ahead of the Rumble, I can maybe take 1v1s. It's just so much shit. This is mega criminal from, uh, from... Fnatic, by the way. Damn, Fudge is just shitting on him. Dude, there's no way that they should be able to play this Herald, though. The fact that they're even starting the Herald, it just makes no sense. But, I mean, Berserker's still bought. The tempo is completely off. And to be fair, I think that this is mainly on Blabber. Blabber going for that, like, lane gank top where he just wasted time and didn't get anything off of it. That's up the whole herald timing so like c9 is doing fine here but i feel like they should be further ahead than they are in terms of like progressing the game like the gold lead is fine but they should be able to get herald off this yeah fudge is really really far ahead i mean he's not taking the fight like he's not taking the fight what he's doing here is he's trying to fucking crash his wave because his wave is not going to crash rumble's going to hold it forever so he's He's essentially trying to burn cooldowns to stop Fudge from from taking it. Here, though, Oscar should just move to to River. Like, Lee Sin is starting Herald. He should force Rumble to to drop the freeze in order to contest the Herald. I think that's the right play. They're not they're not able to. Yeah, Blabber should stay here. That's what I was gonna say. It's like Blabber was recalling. Good, good, well played, well. 
fucking played. And they got TP? All right. Dude, Fudge is so ahead here. Oh my God, Fudge is having a good game. Fudge is having a good game internationally. What year is it, bro? This might be his first good game since 2021. Nah, that can't be true. He must have had a good game in there somewhere, right? Internationally? Surely he carries now? I mean, it's not necessarily only on him if they don't win. If the team doesn't know how to leverage this rumble advantage, like, I don't know what to say, bro. You got Harold. That's part of your rumble advantage. You should be winning every f***ing fight for the next 20 minutes because of rumble. So, like, the, the fact that Fnatic got one of the Drakes is pretty huge. Ooh, they're looking for Humanoid here? I don't know about this from MNS. Uh, this is so weird. They're, like, crashing Harold mid. Did they just Harold mid? Or no, they, yeah, they just Harold in mid with both soul laners in top lane like this is so fucking weird this is just like some na shit where you just feel the game like not progressing the way it should i would be down with them like dropping it next rumble rumble fucking chunks the oriana to one hp and they just spawn the herald top to just ensure that the rumble is super far ahead he's like two items in 17 minutes or some shit but this is like so weird you have your soul laners both in top lane and then you have the support and jungle mid and then you solo crash the herald mid for two plates on jarvin he is just a euro poor oh razor is going in wow eminent's got so much damage off wait sven use an ability sven where is sven's abilities well, eminence is no flash he's dead too oh my god bro sven flash ignite ulti do something or flash somebody do something bro like anything just press a button like you just have to use your ulti here you either ulti the Lee Sin, who's like running in or you just flash ulti the humanoid you have to do something here watch Sven watch Sven ulti here oh just ulti earlier man you hooked first you hooked first into Lee Sin who has kick it's, he's a good Lee Sin he's gonna kick you first you just have to R. Oh, here's the ulti. Ulti? Good. Nice. Another solo kill. Big. Big. Or you going Zanya's is kind of good for C9, though. He might not go Zanya's. He might just keep the Seeker's arm guard in his inventory. Because they buffed Seeker's a while back. Now some people buy it into AD matchups, so. Oh, good. Good from Fudge. Humanoid, no flash. Humanoid, no flash. This is horrible from them. Why did they make this play? Why did they make this play? Let's go, North America! Dude, this is such a absolutely R-worded play from Fnatic. This is such a, like, int play. We've seen so many int plays so far in the first 15 minutes. But you know what? It, it's like, it's nerves, it's everything. But you can't even really say that because these teams just kind of play like that. Like, but, like, what is this play, bro? You're diving top lane where you don't know where Jarvan is and you have no flash Oriana behind the turret. Like, just think about how many times you can make this play and have it just go wrong. Nice combo. Nice combo, boys. Good shit. Good shit. MNS will kill this guy for sure, right? Ulti? Okay. Actually, he trusted in the Q. I just think about, like, the potential for this play to go wrong. Think about the, the spot Fnatic was in. Fnatic just got breathing room. They had just got breathing room from the play mid that C9 up and what does fanatic do with that breathing room that window that they got they go for this top dive with insane amounts of risk behind it and it just goes wrong here and now the whole game feels over now you're down 5k i feel like the one thing that a lot of these like teams don't understand is like how to capitalize on the breathing room that they get in game so fanatic has two things that happen here right Number one, Fnatic has room to breathe in this game. Why? Because Orianna just got kills mid, or you just got a kill mid plus an assist, so he's ahead in the game. Plus, Fnatic got first Drake. Those things should allow for Fnatic to have like a, a, a long time where they can scale. They should be fine with that. But instead, they opt into this fight that actually like the entire game. Also, C9, how are we not fighting this, by the way? Good, good combo. Let's go. Let's go. We're, we're, go we're chasing them to the ends of the earth, bro. We're chasing them. We're chasing them back to Europe, bro. Chase them all the way back. All the way back to Europe. Trimby's the hero. Big, guys. Big. 
no one else current and can get out of this one because MS he's trying to oh these MS is coming baby they just tried to double they just died two people just died trying to greedy recall under tier two god damn it's so beautiful man it's so beautiful you know it's really criminal though like okay this is like nit nitpicking like, i don't want to i don't want to get too technical here but how up is it that Fnatic is actually like getting this drake like when you consider the game state how is Fnatic ever even able to enter here how does Fnatic have second king drake in this game they're down 9k gold versus rumble jarvin nautilus yone how do they have second drake like how do they walk in and get that drake like it should, they should never be Fnatic should be giving this drake like so it's so dumb on so many fronts right because c9 should be there for like they should get the drake guaranteed but Fnatic should also just give the drake because even if they get this drake they've bought themselves enough room in the game the fact that c9 okay this is actually pretty bad for off oh, or he gets uh it's so big or he just got 1k gold or he getting 1k gold is huge here you know it's dead for it but like okay Fnatic should be giving this drake because it's already like 19 minutes into the game if c9 with their comp their like wombo combo comp is getting first drake at 19 minutes you've already won like you've already won the, the whole drake situation right Oh, they're trying to they're gonna they're gonna just they're not flipping it they have the zaya feathers so that's what they're looking for here come on mns come on let them know the combo okay well played guys well played dude this is such a not north american play here they leverage the fact the fact that they have zaya on their team to have like the guaranteed smite to, to force the nash when they're ahead here that's beautiful i love it yeah, I mean, this is a game where you end the game with this Baron, bro. Yep, you end the game on this Baron, guys. Yep. Let's keep on going, boys. Yeah, this is a game end. This is We're playing for end here. I'm oh, just going to base and go bot. Like, dude, if, if you're Chinese or Korean, if you're, if you're Chinese or T1, I should say, the game ends on this Baron 100%. Enemy team can't breathe. They can't contest. I don't know if I like Zaya staying mid here, though. I'm trying to think, but like, I feel like Eminem should have just been mid here and Zaya should be top. Because, like, here, when they actually get the kill on Oriana, which is huge, right? The Oriana kill, that's the wave clear right there. You can't, act, you don't even get one of the tier the tier threes. Like, you don't get an inhib here, where I feel like the Oriana dying should be like, yeah, an inhib guaranteed. Complimented T1 Pog. I mean that is that is T1 strength. It's like they're the best Korean team at snowballing leads. If you give a team, if you give any Korean team a 3K lead, you'd want it to be T1. Like an early game 3K lead, T1 would close the game out the cleanest. I mean C9 should have got more off this for sure. Oh blabber blabber! Oh no! Uh, this is the type of stuff that I really don't like because you're getting chunk like this. I don't know. You getting chunk like this means you can't push anymore. Ah, uh, I don't like it. Oh, I saw Jackson's rumble and went back to sleep. I just don't like, man. I don't. It's one of those things where Western teams are doing it at this point consistently at this tournament. And like, obviously it's playable. It's not like a, an automatic game loss, but just from the outside looking in, if you've been co-streaming, right? Like I'm sure that me, Cajal, Doublelift, Yamato, like everyone who's been co-streaming that's watching it from the outside would never want this, right? Like no one watching this from the outside would want a Jax into Rumble. It just feels like you have to do way too much to win the game. It feels like you have to do way, way, way too much to win the game. Like I'm here looking for easy ways to win the game. If I'm fucking coaching a team, I want them to win the easiest way possible. And I think that's just Ornn into Rumble. I think if you have the same draft, right? Like, and you have maybe a, a slightly higher damage AD carry than Ezreal, and you pair that with an Ornn, I think your draft is 10 times better. And you don't run into the problem of like rumble stomping the entire game like even if rumble is like a kill up two kills up at least the herald then is contestable that's one the herald is more contestable because orin is stronger in a herald fight than Jax is at like level seven or whatever the f it's it's gonna be 
maps. On That's better. It feels like there is the scaling is way easier. You don't have to put attention into that lane as well, or it is way more self-sufficient. I just feel like there's like it's just so many reasons that I can come up with why Orn is better than Jax in general. Like, if you want to go outside of just gameplay stuff, how about just ease of execution? Think about how NA and EU teams have looked playing Orn versus better teams historically. It's been so good. Like, Orn has been one of the best top laners, I, I bet, in terms of win rate internationally for the West. Oh? Come on, wait. Sven should, should not... Uh, Sven not ult that? Okay. They really should have started Baron here. I mean, what, they, they did the Zaya flip before. This was your timing. Such a bad time for the ad too. Let's hope. Let's hope it's right after Baron because it still hasn't started. It still hasn't started yet. Yeah. So this is the flip. Oh my God! We fed it up. They fed it up, bro. They fed it up. No way, man. No way. No way. They fed it up, bro. They fed up the smite, dude. How did they fuck up the E smite? Language barrier. Ah, uh, whatever, dude. Dude, it's so crazy, though, man. Like, just, like, E smite is so OP. Like, the Zaya E is, the Zaya E plus smite is, like, what, like, 2,500 damage, if not more here? Maybe, maybe not as much, because Berserker went, I think, rapid fire on three. Yeah, the point is, like, yeah, I mean, the point is, this should just be guaranteed. Why are we not just starting the Drake? Like, oh, man, just don't extend this game any longer. Like, Humanoid's actually getting strong. Wait. Trimby? Trimby? Question mark? Look at that. Look at that. They're setting four top. Okay. Big, big, big. I like it. Eminus should have just ulted, by the way. Eminus f this up. He should Q3 into ult there. 100%. He should Q3 into ult and just one shot Oriana. Oriana has no, uh, has no stopwatch. Oh, I don't know. This is not the two you want, bro. If you're going to ulti, you have to ulti Oriana and get Oriana flash. Blabber has been over aggressive here. Oh, this is not good. Dude, it's 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 not clean. It was looking really good. It's not that good right now. So, like you're looking at this point in the game. I mean, Fnatic should still lose, but they're they have a way higher chance of winning than they should at this point. They have like 20% chance of winning or like 25% chance of winning, something like that, where they should literally, the game should be ended. There's no, how does the game hit 32 minutes when your rumble is this strong? Your rumble is like 7-0 or 7-1 or something absolutely ridiculous at like 20 minutes. And it's a 33 minute game. Like, how is that possible? Group up, push the third. They don't have the ability to wave clear. Big. Big. Noah f***ed up. Oh man, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Berserker is gonna pump damage here. Good. Good. Okay, flash E from Fudge. Should just be Baron. Just go Baron. Just go Baron, guys. Could be better, but we'll take it. And the fact that they were playing this composition, it helped to get them ahead. But the siege potential was so low that things are kind of different. Bro, it's not the siege potential, guys. You literally dive them. Like that that's what this is. There's no like siege potential. Like we're like, oh, we couldn't siege because we don't have enough rain champions. Bro, you have Yone, Rumble, Jarvan, Nautilus. They can't wave clear because if they walk up to the wave, you dive them, bro. You fing murder them. Oscar Innan is, is dead here, by the way. Oh, MNS doesn't ult? He ults there, bro. He ults there for sure. Okay. Humanoid? Humanoid? Humanoid's dead? GG, GG. They won. And one. We were waiting for and we found it in the Why did okay? Hey, bro. Hey, Fnatic, you probably should have dropped that third Drake and then contested the Baron, but I'll take it. I'll take the fuck out of it. All right, C9 wins game one. Big. Dude, ju just dive them. It's crazy, right? Because the reason that NA teams don't want to dive, the reason why NA teams don't want to dive is because they're afraid 
that that's like risky and that's going to throw the game. But in reality, it's way more risky when it comes to like your percentage chance of winning the game. It's way more risky to not dive them and then have them get like allow them the ability to scale than it is to just force. Because look, if you dive and you it up, but you at least get an Ori flash or you get like you'll have bigger windows. But the problem is that in these situations, because they don't create the action that just forces the game, it just ends up being that everyone has flash. When the Oriana has flash, the Ezreal has flash, and they're under the turret, then the dive becomes harder. It's actually riskier to not dive them if you're playing this comp. If you want to talk about risk in terms of percentage chance you win the game. Okay, Rumble ban from Fnatic. Oriana ban Zaya ban, I like this. I like I like the bans from uh from C9. So what's up? Poppy is up, and that's a big Razor champion, and it's a flex for Fnatic, so it's pretty strong pick. I don't know if they want to B1 the Poppy, but it's something that I would definitely consider like 2-3 at least for Fnatic because C9 doesn't really like Poppy that much. Syndra first pick just like this. I don't really like the Syndra first pick to be honest. I want to see Jarvan from C9. I think that this is already like decent Jarvan angle and it combos with a lot of things that MNS might want to play down the line. I don't think Kaisa is great for either of these teams. It's better for Berserker. Wow. Oh, okay. That's pretty interesting. I actually don't mind this. This is an interesting angle. Okay, so Kasante, Talia. So Kasante is flex, can lane into Syndra, probably will end up going mid because they played into Syndra earlier. And Talia for Blabber. Okay. So what is what does Razor actually want to play into Talia? Because like Poppy is not amazing. He could play Jarvan, but some people don't like Jarvan. Like Jarvan is fine into Talia, but a lot of people don't like it. This should be just Renekton on three, dude. I think I think C9 just goes Renekton on three. Talia can be flex as well. Theoretically, but I don't think it is for C9. I, th I think that it's just Kasante mid Talia jungle. I think they can even lock the Renekton and they have what they want anyway. They remove the ability to flex certain champions. Also, Rakan is up. Maybe that's an angle. But I think C9, dude, I think C9 right here. I think they just go Renekton. I think you just slam Renekton here. And if they don't ban Rakan, you get that 4 5. Maybe you get Alistar 4 5. You just draft support 4 5 and just like whatever AD for Berserker later on. He can play Zeri, Kaisa. I mean, I mean, Berserker can play everything, so I wouldn't worry about that. Even if he had to drop even further, Aphelios, Ash, like he'll find something. I don't, I don't know if you need to go Kaisa here. I think this could be a miss. Fnatic should ban out Renekton. Fnatic should ban out Renekton. I mean, the, the Cassante is almost for sure going mid now, right? You're playing into Syndra, which Cassante is like one of the matchups that Cassante players like playing mid because Syndra doesn't have the damage to kill Cassante um, until the Andres. And then Cassante is not good into Jax. So I think that you just put the Cassante mid no matter what. Aphilios ban. Okay. Ban out Noah champions. What else does he play? Aphilios Zeri. Aphilios Zeri makes sense. Rel. I like Rakan. Rel is good too. Rel is good too. I, I guess you can't go that wrong with Rel. But then also, if you go Rel, they're just going to go Zeri Rakan. And I think Zeri Rakan is like, I mean, Zeri gets through lanes and Rakan and enables Rakan to be really strong. So... I think the Rakan also is better for Fnatic than it is. Uh, yeah, it's better for Fnatic than other supports are for Fnatic. So that's why I like the Rakan here. It's a little weird. I think it should just be Zeri Rakan for Fnatic. I don't even think that they, like, what else would they really even play? I, I mean, to be fair, you could go Poppy for Fudge. <laughs> just doesn't seem like they're doing it. Blitz. Nah, don't go Blitz. Blitz doesn't make sense here. It has to be Rakan. Blitz Zeri, that sounds really weak. Waiting for R5 Renekton. I mean, I think legitimately R5 Renekton will come through, though. I think an R5 Renekton actually makes sense here. I mean, the R5 Renekton makes sense. I know R5 Renekton is a meme, but I think that it's actually correct in the spot. Like, Fnatic draft so much more. If both these teams were top tier, I would like C9's draft more. It'll be Fudge playing the Renekton. MNS will take the Kassante. I mean, the reason why you feel like Fnatic has better draft is because it took C9 so long to end that last game that it just feels like the game will probably go late. And if the game goes late, you just expect that like the Zeri Syndra Jax will just be more useful. But I think I, I like C9's draft more overall. If Blabber uses spells on the crab, Razor will win the fight, but MNS is here first because yeah, Syndra just can't outpush him. Syndra went for like the Okay, let's see it. Oh, that's a really bad W from Blabber. Should be okay though. Oh no, it should not be okay. Oh man, they're just getting outplayed. Uh, Blabber was really greedy on his, like, EW. He should have just held his spells. 
you, I mean, the reason is because if you 2x, then like it'll randomly like buffer and pause and stuff, and it's just like it's not worth it. Okay, big. Damn, bro. I'm gonna just shit on humanoid's face. God damn. Okay. Drake, everyone should just be out. MNS is just dead. We've, okay, decent, decent return kill. If they get out, it'd be huge. Good flash from Sven. I, you'll take that, bro. You'll take that as C9. Good. Good. Flip. Uh, Trimby is here. I didn't even see Trimby on the map. Okay. Anyways, wait. Why is Rel still bot? Rel should be moving, bro. Rel should be moving here. They should get Harold off this. Like you have Renekton. You you need to get this Harold. If C9 doesn't get this Harold, I think the game is lost. Yeah. Just I mean, if you have to ro full rotate, just do it. Yeah. We need to get Harold here. There's like no question about it. This is when MNS is so much stronger than uh, Syndra as well. Oscar is just getting uh, slowly out sustained. I mean, that's pretty much just how you play the matchup as Renekton. You just play to like Q, and then if Oscar jumps on him there, he saves his stun until after, and he just trades with his W. This is exactly what Cloud9 are looking for. They're going to go for a wraparound. They know that yeah, get the play, bro. There you go. Oh, we're getting off of this. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's a horror from Fudge. Whatever, they get the play off because there's four people, but this was like, yeah, pretty cringeworthy. The thing is, like, if you lose your Herald timing to get this kill, I don't even know if it's worth it, bro. Actually, I mean, you should, we should restart Herald, no? Wow, they're going to, okay, Eminence is trying to base. He has no TP, though, to cover Berserker. Berserker just has to give up. The, it's like three CS, bro. You give up the two plates. I don't know, like, C9 didn't get Herald there, so it's not great. Oh man, Blabber is playing with fire here. This is crazy for him. This is super crazy. He has to be willing to flash. Oh man, we lose Harold here. I think I think Fnatic actually just win the game. I know it's pretty far ahead too because of the rotation. Like C9 ended up losing two plates bot too. That's that's the other thing. It's not just about the Herald. It's the fact that they lost multiple plates. They lost multiple plates bot and Berserker lost CS because Ven was roaming to this top play as well. So you have to add all that into like the overall equation of was this play good for C9 or not. Drake is up, man. Good tanking. Now, the thing is, this could be winning for C9 if they end up getting Drake, but they're not going to get Drake either. Damn, they're afraid to contest. Dude, do they have to be afraid to contest? I mean, Humanoid has CP, but he's fine. Like, Razor is low. Trimby is low. I think you I think you walk in. Renekton is mid. Maybe they're afraid that Renekton... I, I think that, re that you just all go to Drake here. The three goes to Drake. And then you just TP Cassante top to catch the top wave that Oscar's going to push. I, mean, I just think you need to look for more aggressive options here. Like, you just have to do things that are going to break the game. Okay, like, at this point, when you see this, don't you just, like, have Kai'Sa collapse? Don't you just try to force into the Drake? Like, at least get Oscar's TP or something? I don't know, bro. It just feels like if you don't do that, and they just get Drake, and they get more time to scale, you just lose. I think you just have to find angles to, like, break the game. So you have to start flipping it a bit because your early game didn't go as well as it should. Lost the 3v3 top, didn't get Herald, didn't get second Drake. Oh, that's big. He should be dead. Dude, that's so lucky that um, Blabber got it with Leandres over, um, yeah, over the Ignite getting it from Sven. Dark Steel stacks plus the kill is obviously way better on Talia. The gold is way better, so pretty nice. Nice. Got a TP. Nice little bit of pressure there from Cloud9. They don't commit. They just back off as soon Blabber's as gonna push mid here. Oh, Sven is dead. Not bad, I guess. Fudge. Starting to lose out on Sunder timing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, this game's over. Okay. All right, Blabber gets the. I mean, I don't know, bro. Blabber has to completely one v nine. This it seems really, really hard. Seems like they just have to ban Marek's champions. Oh, you just know him like that, Marek. 
Dig? No flash, it's free kill. I mean, you didn't need TP here at all, but whatever. Blabber gets... I mean, this is a really positive play. Blabber gets top turret as well. He gets first turret, technically. Blabber is so strong. He's dead here, though, unfortunately. Yeah, he's dead as well. Big shutdown. It should go to Jarvan here. Uh, wow, he has Rylai's completed. Two items two items really early for the Talia. I mean, the Renekton is going to be really hard to play at this point. Like, we just didn't get Renekton value. Like, Fudge misplayed the first uh, crab fight. So did Blabber. I mean, honestly, all three of them misplayed. It was a winning fight. You want to take that fight with the Renekton? And then Fudge just got solo killed afterwards. So, it's pretty tough, bro. I mean, the Drake doesn't matter that much, but C9 should be looking for angles to fight. They have to leverage Talia's strength right now. Because really Talia's not going to like 1v9 as hard as like Zeri, Syndra, super late game. Jax is scaling too. I mean, the problem is there's just not enough threats on C9. First strike Syndra, yep. Standard into Kassante. Uh, I don't know about this. I think Oscar can 1v2, no? Okay, bro. It's pretty close. Was there no angle to 1v2 there for Oscar? Maybe not. Maybe it's just impossible with the Rel plus the Ignite. I thought I thought that, that MNS ulted early and maybe Jax could 1v2, but seems like he can't. They lose Drake. Can they pressure top tier 2? Probably not. We're not spawning Harold mid here? I feel like... Oh, wow, they're spawning Harold top. I don't know if I like spawning Harold top. I think that Harold top... Like, I mean, it gives you more gold. But isn't it just... Oh, man, Fudge, you're just dying for the Gromp. But isn't it just better to break mid here? I feel like if, if they have a mid turret up, they can play so much safer. Like, if Syndra has no mid turret, you definitely have angles. We'll see. We'll have the Chobi interview either in 20 minutes or in an hour and 20 minutes. Fudge got Gorgagroff. Winnable. It's winnable for C9. They have to play it slow, but it's winnable. They have to just, like, Blabber has to play it slow, bro. Blabber played it way too fast. Blabber had to play it slower. Nah, it's not winnable anymore. Kaisa, like, ulted Noah here, and Noah just walked away, I guess. All right, GG. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Dude, literally, maybe just no one should play Kaisa. Maybe no one should play Kaisa. Uh, Syndra is so strong, bro. About to be three items. You know, Blabber was up almost a full item on Razork, and now they're just even. Because of the shutdown and all that stuff. Like, if, if Blabber just died without giving the shutdown to Razork. Yeah, I mean, or if he just based without giving the shutdown to Razork. Razork would be still down, like, half an item at least. Now Razor is completely fine. Got a bunch of assists on the top lane situation. Also, Jarvan is looking kind of OP in this series. Just saying. That's actually big. No Reconult for Drake. I mean, you just have to try to exploit these windows. Like you're not, you're not going to outscale here at this point. You have to do something with this Reconulting. You just have to. This is like really weird from Cloud9. I think this is overly desperate. I think you just take the Drake fight, no? I, all right, they're just flipping the whole game here. I hate it, but I mean, whatever. I guess it's better than doing nothing and losing. Oh, man, what is this? They're just getting Baron for free now? Yep. Nothing to say about that, bro. They just leashed Baron. Dude, I don't know. I feel like Rakan is just a pick for C9 on four. I'm trying to think about how the draft played out. And I think that just, I think you just draft the Rakan R4. Because to me, when I'm looking at Fnatic's comp, the thing that's different between Rel and, and Rakan is I feel like Rakan is way better counter engaged. Like if you're getting engaged on and Rakan just like, Ease pops ult with Radiant Virtue and just peels everyone. Like, you actually have, like, some angles there. And that's what Fnatic support wants. I don't think Fnatic would want to play with a Rel this game. 
And I also think Jarvan Rakan is like more OP. I think cracking into Navori is better than this. Wait, what? Wait, Berserker has ult. This is really bad from Razor. I mean, he just gave a huge shutdown. I mean, whatever. It doesn't. It doesn't actually matter. They're so far ahead, they can't lose. But this is a really weird play. Dude, Western teams are so bad at ending the game early. It's just G2 that can do it. Oh, uh, Humanoid's dead too. It's another shutdown. Wait, Talia just made like a solid like 2K gold, but okay. Dude, I, I just hate the way these games are closed out. You know, it was literally not looking at his character there when he died. He was looking further up in the lane. Yeah, this game is just done. I mean, Humanoid's dead. Blabber's alive. Okay, they flashed on Blabber. Blabber has stopwatch. Uh, no, Zeri's just untouched. It's impossible. Dude, this Talia does zero f***ing damage. Wait, does 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 Talia have Void? Talia had Void there, and he does that little damage. I mean, the Rally's build looks really good when you're ahead, but when you're behind, you just do nothing, bro. Berserker did not play this game. Yeah, he didn't really get to play. I mean, they sold Berserker. They they sold Berserker for this like top dive that they didn't even get Herald off of. Like, this was such a crucial point in the game, guys. I can't overstate enough how big it is that in this window you're not getting herald c9 are they gonna ban syndra too nah surely we don't ban syndra as well yeah rubble ban would be pretty good from Fnatic. i think they should ban just rubble zaya to be honest what is c9 ban here maybe poppy Callista, dude are they really that afraid of berserker Callista? i mean i'll take it bro i mean jarvan value should be really high in the series based off what we've seen jarvan value should be through the roof right now poppy ban okay rumble ban here over zaya i guess i don't know man literally just rumble b1 if they let you dude i mean zaya is the higher pyo champion but i think i would take rumble bro i, I mean i think rumble is pretty good into zaya like they just get rumble jarvan i don't know i think you take rumble there if they get zaya jarvan i don't think it's that scary dude i hope it's not jack i don't know man i don't like it i don't like it i think it's losing especially when you can say okay so the reason i'll take i'll take rumble there is a couple things number one like the confidence in the series is probably really high for fudge like he probably feels really good on the rumble based off the first game but then also i don't think noah has been like that big in any of the games that Fnatic has won recently so I think that you are willing to give them Zaya on a player that's not performing super well to secure things that actually make sense for you. And if they take Zaya Jarvan, the Jarvan could be really out of place with their team comp. Then you probably follow it up with something like Rakan plus Lee Sin, and you have a pretty decent team comp yourself. I don't know. Drafts is so fast. Yeah, they came they came uh, back with what they really want. I mean, this is one of Noah's best champions. Hey, okay, Akali, Braum. Rom. Wait, I mean, Rakan is banned, but yeah, I mean, you, you don't have to take the Rakan. You can just take like Nautilus or Alistar. I mean, you probably take Alistar. You'd probably go something like Alistar, Lee Sin. Same thing though. You just take support there. I feel like C9 is just losing. I, I really hate the Jackson to rumble. I mean, this is a better Jax angle because you have the Sejuani, so you at least have like some pairing, but I just don't like it in general. We're not a ban. I mean, they want to just look for an Alistar angle, I think. I think Zven just wants Alistar here. Yeah, this is definitely an Alistar game. Definitely an Alistar game. Definitely an Alistar game. The thing is, if you go Syndra here, I think Eminem should probably just blind his LeBlanc, literally. Like, I don't know what else he can play. I guess it's Cassante or LeBlanc. I just think you you don't want to go Syndra plus Zaya to a mobile carries into Rumble Jarvan. Like, that seems like into Rumble Jarvan Rel. You need something with mobility mid, I think. Or you can't breathe. Honestly, they could look for like... Nah, I mean, they have to go in AP mid. What else could they go? I mean, I don't like the Syndra. I just don't like the Syndra. Silas? I don't think Silas is that good blind here. I mean, I came up with LeBlanc. That was that was what I was trying to say. Is I, I think LeBlanc makes sense because it's MNS's best champion and it's mobility. I'm not in love with the Silas, to be honest. I mean, it's fine. It's, fine. it's not like super mega OP, by the way. Silas with Alistar ult. I don't, I don't really care that much about Alistar ult, to be honest, on Silas. I think Alistar ult is like good, obviously. Like there's some fights where it's mega OP. If the Silas is just unkillable in a certain fight, it can win you the game. But I think that in general, like you need more than just that. Normally you want a couple like options. Normally you want like a decent lane matchup plus like a good jungle ultimate Sejuani is fine for that plus an Alistar and then you feel like you're really in business 
Yeah, Oscar should be dead here. That's good from Fudge. Good timing on it. Give it to Jax. Give it to Jax. No matter what, give it to Jax. No matter what, give it to Jax. The last part of the wave there. Fudge gave some CS for it, but yeah, you have to give it to Jack. Blasting one on LeBlanc. Please, uh, yeah, I mean, okay. I guess he's going Ludens. All right, send out a tweet about MNS build. Because I'm a co-streamer. That's what we do, bro. Flame the f***ing builds. I mean, it's just... The way that I see it is this, right? I don't believe that Leandre's is an item that can never be purchased on LeBlanc. And if it's not purchasable here, then it's just never purchasable. This is the best game you're going to get for it. It's a 1k gold lead and they haven't dropped their herald. So I think they're in a pretty good spot. Okay, level six. Big. Let's go, boys. Huge. Big, boys. Big. I like it. And he got the solo play. Let's go. Uh, this is not good for C9. This is not good for C9. This is actually bad from Razork. Razork played this poorly. Fudge should just flash on him. Yeah, dude. Razork inted. Razork inted. Yes, Razork. Yes. Thank you, Razork. Holy shit. Nah, it's, okay, don't get too hyped. Don't get too hyped. The first game, they were up 75,000 gold at 10 minutes, and they still had the game go to 40. Don't get too hyped. Don't get fucking hyped. Just relax, boys. Still a tough game. Fnatic, historic organization. Do not underestimate them. Here, Razor inted so hard. Like, the okay, the Rumble ult isn't good, but the Sejuani can't be slowed by the Rumble ult, so Sejuani is just going to walk out of the Rumble anyway. As soon as you see them backing off there and Blabber hadn't committed ult, Sven, what the f bro? Okay, we get it. You're European, man. No, we get it. You're European. You are European. Oh, Blabber's just dying for his boy. Nice. He just died and gave buffs for Sven. Ah, nice. And we get pushed off the bot wave now. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, Sven. It's not a win trade. It's not a win trade, bro. Yeah, let me see your passport let me see your fucking passport right now wait alistar died on the dive no way wait alistar randomly inted bro alistar randomly inted at nine minutes when we were watching top he's fucking he's witch rating 100 percent bro look at this Dude, look at this. No one knew because we're getting so we're getting the top fight, right? This is after they dove. Sven just walks up into the turret later and he just dies, bro. He died to the fucking turret. No way, bro. No way, man. And then he's running it again. Bro, we didn't even see it. They didn't even show a replay of it, too. So it was that disgusting, bro. It was that disgusting that Riot didn't even want to look at a replay. They thought that more viewers would tune out of the stream if they saw that dive than if they showed it. Impossible. All right, what is LeBlanc doing with the Ludens in this game? Oh? Ben has ult here. Humanoid flashed. This is pretty bad from Humanoid, to be honest. Ah, uh, he lives. Ah, uh, it's a horror. Oh, Razork is a brother. Brother Razork. Okay, Blabber action. Okay, North America, come on. MNS, do some damage with your Ludens. You got him, bro, right? With Ludens? He has the CDR. He has the CDR from Ludens, right? He has the CDR. He doesn't have Leandre's, but yeah, no. He would definitely not kill this guy. He would not murder this guy if he actually just had a real item. Yes, bro. Yes, what the fuck are we doing? You guys are doing your best. Hey, look, all I'm saying is how the f are five Europeans losing in a game to one American? One American is beating five Europeans in, in a game. How does that make any sense? Uh, uh, okay. I guess it ended up being flash or flash. That's probably enough. They get the flash and they get the herald, and now humanoid TP down here. No. Oh man, oh, everyone's just assassinate, dude. The tempo in this game is so fucked up. <laughs> Show this to like a Korean coach; they'll throw up. Okay, Sven is dead. 
Dude, look at the damage there, bro. Look at the damage there from Ludens. Look at the damage there from Ludens. Ludens sorks into Merc Treads. Look at the damage. That was nice. I like that. I like that. This is world's level play, by the way. Yep. That's worlds, baby. And you know what? One of these teams could play against NRG for a slot. How up is that which is which is part of the reason why i think that riot wants to put swiss they just want to have more opportunities for western teams to make it further like they want just more upsets and like the tournament to be more volatile like that all right this is the fight that's going to decide the game this is going to be like a huge break point dude you're going shadow flame he's going shadow flame bro the ludens he's going ludin shadow flame in this game he's going ludin shadow flame in this game Dude, look at how look at how he's playing, bro. Look at how he has to play. He's gonna be Wing forward and like queuing tanks. How is this not a f Ludens or sorry, a Leandre's game into like some type of C like you can go Cosmic Drive. I mean, you could go in like Void Second. It could be any of those. Humanoid is trying to go crazy. Actually, I think Humanoid's inting here. Like he thinks that Alistar ult makes him really unkillable, but it, it doesn't make him that unkillable. They get third Drake though. Let's see if they can make it out. Yeah, no, there's no way. There's no way, right? Oh my god, no, it's so sad. I hate watching it, man. Oh, I hate it. I hate it, dude. Ah, oh, FF. GG. Ah, uh, FF. Dude, they tried to, like, overcommit onto Noah so hard. They should have just been fine hitting, like, Razor and Trimby here. Like, Jesus. Now, 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 Noah is just too big. GG. But like, look at the damage from LeBlanc. It's so f***ing pathetic, bro. Like, Eminence's build is literally... This is probably one of, like, the worst times you could, you could ever go for this build. This is probably one of the most egregious, like, item build correlating into a champion being useless times ever. Also, Eminence could have just taken his W back there. Good Gale Force from Noah. I mean, Noah played this fight really well. And then Berserker flashed in instead of just hitting Razor. No. Oh, it hurts, bro. It hurts. Dude, I, I, I made sure. Like, the thing that's crazy is, like, I did my part. I told MS what to build, number one. And number two, I didn't even get excited when NA was winning. I, I, I contained the excitement, too. So, like, literally, what more can I do for this region? Actually, what else can I do for these guys? Uh, it's kind of winnable. Razor is dead. Uh, it's actually really big. Go mid, go mid, go mid. Go mid and, like, two people chase. Okay. Look at the damage. This is why we went Shadow Flame Ludens, just so we could do more damage to the AD carry because it's bad against everyone else. So if you're not one shotting the AD carry, hey, it's it's rough. That would be nuts. Also, Trimby is sliding, bro. Oh, Blabber's dead. Just leave it, bro. Dude, just die quick. If you're going to die, just die quick, bro. Just die fast. Okay, okay. That's they died early enough that they'll be back for Harold or for uh Soul. I mean, that would be crazy. Yeah, it'd be fucking insane. Ooh, ooh, damage. Let's go. Bro, stop trading shit, bro. Just, just get your fucking asses back to the Drake. Get position on Soul and fight that shit, bro. That's all I want to see. Now Fudge has no ulti, bro. Fudge has no ulti for the soul fight. I don't know, bro. Wait, Fudge. Ah, oh, I hate it so much. I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick right now. I'm gonna puke. Pick off any. Oh, he oh, pick off who? He has no damage. He can't pick off anyone. We saw him full combo Aphilios, and Aphilios like still had 25% life. I mean, this is not picking anyone, bro. Full flip, and they got soul. Nice. Full flip. Full flip, and they got soul. And Jax is just in Narnia. Jax is chasing the rel the entire time. Ah, GG. GG. Fucking lost again. 
I mean, Fudge can't run into like the actual team fight. Like he can't front line in this team fight because he has no ult. So he's not going to have any defensive stats. So like, what do they do? Alistar had no ult. Fudge had no ult. Like they just lose. We don't have the CDR build on LeBlanc, so he can't poke really. Like watch what LeBlanc does here. Okay. He lands one Q. So he's landed one Q. Takes his W back. All right. He's still landed one Q. There's another QW. Okay, nice. Two Qs and a W. Nice, bro. Please. I don't know. Fine. This is the last game this team plays together, by the way. Like, I'm telling you, this is the last This is the last game that C9 plays together. With the majority of this lineup. I think Fudge plays next year. I mean, I think that these players will play. The majority of them will play, but they're not going to be on the same team. Okay, we'll get them next time. Yep. 10 years from now, when I'm 43 years old, C9 will play one more best of series versus Fnatic, and that's the one they'll win. I certainly won't have a stroke in the meantime from watching NA at the other nine worlds before it. Isn't this just like the saddest thing too? Like they don't even go out fighting either. They're just like, all right, let's just accept it. We're at that acceptance point of the game. We just slowly lose out. MS doing some damage onto Razor. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him. Oh, he's he's doing it. That's the wrong one. Oh, Razor is dead. What do I tweet out? Bro, Fudge, you're not going to ult? Bro, does he know what his ult does? Does he know what his ult does? Legit? Does he know his ult gives him, like, resist? If he hits a champion, like one that's on top of him right there, he might not know what his ult does. <laughs> like, dude, when you have this much CDR at this point, do you not just instantly ult here if you're Jax? Do you not just ult? Maybe not, bro. All right, what do I tweet out? When Dardo originally, originally said, we will suffer as... I didn't know what he meant, but after watching this game three performance by C9, I truly now know the meaning of what it is to suffer as chatting. They're, they're going for Elder. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's one shot. Yeah, we just went loot and shadow, uh, loot and shadow flame in this game. That's yeah, fine, bro. It's fine, bro. Bro, I mean, I think Sven is just like he knows that like the NA budgets are going down for next year, so he's trying to turn in this performance to get picked up by an EU team. He's putting in a historic EU performance right now. It looks so half-hearted. Oh my god, look at Razork's healing. Wait, Noah? Noah's trying to click back and he hit the fuck. Nah, no way. Alright, Blabber, do it for America. Do it for America. They've called us NA pigs for a long time. Show us the true NA pig. Well, shit. Well, shit.